well. He's standing by live at the Coliseum. We will get to him in just a moment or until, what else can we start with but the Edmonton Oilers in the Battle of Alberta. Call it revenge, retribution, payback, if you will. But after being whipped by the Calgary Flames in 12 of their last 14 meetings, the Edmonton Oilers hit the ice tonight and gave their rivals a little taste of what this young team can do. Hitting, skating, and outscoring their opponents. They pulled within three points of first place. Now, this game was nasty. It was not for the faint of hearts. Early on in this contest, Billy Ranford, unbelievable. Stones, new and I. Then it's the orders of the power play. They're going to pass it around. Arnott from the blue line. He'll slap it home. Oilers go up one to nothing. Now, Billy was forced to come up yet rather large again. Another breakaway. Ranford makes the save. The Flames now on the power play. Patrick will dump it in for Ryko. They shoot some scores. We're tied up at one. We got ourselves a game. A lot of hitting in this one. Believe me, as I said, at times it was bordering on vicious out there. Dougie Waite getting the elbows up. The Flames, though, in the corner can't control. Oilers steal the puck. Pearson, nice pass to Dougie Waite. They'll drain it. That's his third of the season. It was 2 1 pretty well. Now, later in the period, Oliver will get the loose puck. Goes to the slot. Nice little pass to Jason Arden. He gets his second goal of the game. It's 3-1. to one. Later in the period, Scott Thornton gets drilled by Sandy McCarthy. Thornton didn't like it. He drops the gloves. McCarthy goes into the turtle mode. Thornton toss from the game. Second period, Jason Arnold hammers the double Z. Zali Zalapski into the boards. I mean, did he level him or what? Five-minute major. Boy, to kill that. And they get a great chance. Oksuda. Trampola just gets a piece of the puck. We go to the third period. Oilers going to score big again. Jason Arnett. He shoots and scores. That's his hat trick goal. First ever in the National Hockey League. Then things get a little crazy. McCarthy goes in there. Slew fits Lily. Buckmurder drops the gloves. He wants to dance. McCarthy will have no part of it. Then Marchman and Cruiser. They decide to go. They start trading leather. Later on in the contest, beautiful looking goal. Crab Chuck screws Treffle off into the ice, makes it look easy. That'll make it fine, too. Then late in the contest, Otto goes after Arnett. They drop the gloves. They start to go. Corson and Stern then become the main tilt. If you thought the Battle of Alberta was dead, forget it. It was severely jump started tonight, revived, if you will. The Oilers come up with a huge victory, the underlying factor in this contest. They weren't going to be pushed around in their own barn. They played well. They deserve credit for the victory. For the Oilers, it was Arnett with the hat trick. Doug Waite, Igor Kravchuk for the Flames. Robert Reichel and Joe Newendike. Billy with 33 saves, particularly in the first period where he faced 20 shots. He was outstanding. The Oil have now won five out of their last six games. Let's go now to the Coliseum where Mike English is standing by live with a guest. And Mikey... As I said, this one was bordering at times on nasty. Well, we heard we heard before the game that uh, maybe the Battle of Alberta's had a ceasefire for the past couple of years. Well, we can throw that out the window tonight. Joining me now is David Oliver. And David, uh, your first real experience with this Battle of Alberta, a lot of people thought it, it went wrong, but all of a sudden it's back. Did you expect that kind of game going into tonight? Well, you had to expect an intense game. I think, you know, all the downplay about the Battle, Battle of Alberta is coming from our record over the last couple of years. But, you know, we got a, we got a good young team going here, and uh, the guys are getting, you know, they're getting more and more confidence with every night. And I think we're going to see more games like that when we play the, you know, the better teams in the league, not just Calgary. Right from the outset, the fans were in this game. Uh, how much did that mean to the team emotionally to see the fans out there and screaming and hollering? Well, it's an amazing feeling. It's something that, you know, we haven't been used to this year. And, you know, they gave us a tremendous boost. You know, it was a close game. Uh, you know, it was 2-1 early, and uh, they just gave us a huge boost. And, you know, I can't tell you how much we, we appreciate, the, you know, the fan support that we got tonight. And, you know, it's like having another guy out on the bench for us. Nice to see Arnie get the hat trick. He's taken a little heat this season. Came out big tonight. Well, I mean, he's going to take a little bit of heat. I mean, uh, last year he was, a rookie, he was a rookie, you know, just coming into the league, and, you know, he wasn't known by a lot of guys, and he had a tremendous year. And, you know, uh, with that, you know, come, uh, you know, a lot tighter checking, and uh, guys are going to key on Jason Arnott. I mean, he's a tremendous player with a great shot. And, you know, he's going to have to fight through that. And uh, tonight he showed what he's capable of doing. You know, when he, when he gets time to let his shot go, I don't think there's, you know, too many guys in the league that have a better shot than he has. 
Thanks very much, David. I know you have a plane to catch at 7 tomorrow morning for Dallas. Thanks very much for joining us here tonight. Thank you. David Oliver of the Edmonton Oilers. The Oilers winning five of their last six games. I also want to mention Matt Lindgren will be off skates for the next couple of weeks. Uh, we'll keep him right off the skates because he has a problem with his disc and then he'll resume skating, but they're just going to lay off him for a little while, Dutch. You know what, Mikey? I thought the crowd was a big factor tonight. They were going absolutely nuts down there. They really enjoyed themselves. I'll tell you what, there wasn't a fan who watched this game that said he wasn't coming back. If I was the Oilers, I would have opened the box office about the third period because I'll tell you what, they would have sold his point <laughs> out for Friday, March 31st. Yeah, maybe Halsey Kolpak did that. We've got him a little later once right. again. We appreciate it, Mikey, joining us live from the Coliseum tonight. We will talk to you tomorrow. Now let's go back to the Coliseum and specifically into the locker rooms for more post-game comments. But uh, this is really the key to the game was probably the first period we played very well and came out down three to one. Then the second period just you know self destructive. Yeah, I think that's pretty much out the window, right? I think uh, it was a great game and an intense game from both teams, and uh, we beat them tonight. And uh, they're a good club, and, and uh, it was a battle with Alberta tonight. It was a great battle, and uh, fortunately we got more goals than them. But uh, it was a great game by both teams. Oh, definitely not. It's uh, I think the battle with Alberta is back, and uh, we proved it tonight. Um, it was a rough struggle uh, throughout the game. Uh, a lot of hits, a lot of fights. Uh, it just goes to show you that uh, between Calgary and Edmonton, it is a battle, and uh, we brought it back to the way it After tonight, do uh, you see the fans give the standing room? Oh, it was, oh, definitely. It was, uh, it was quite the sight. I've never seen a, the fans go that uh, crazy here before. Um, throwing the hats on just put a chill up my spine and, and uh, a big smile on my face. So it was uh, really nice to see. And it was a heck of a game.